Welcome to the Choose Joy podcast. I'm Tisa, your host. Here at Choose Joy, I pray for you and we watch God work. So a man thinks, so is he. These words are found in Proverbs 23 and it's in reference to a stingy man who offers to share but is secretly hoping that the other person will decline. In James, James tells us in the first chapter and verse number eight, that a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. These and many other verses show us the significance of our thoughts. So today, I want to go before God for his help to subject our thoughts to his perfect will. Pray this prayer with me. Lord, we give you praise today. We stand in awe and gratefulness for the redeeming grace of your son, Jesus. And we bless his name, that name that is above all names. Lord, let everyone who hears this prayer and believes be given your supernatural power to guard and control their thoughts. Lord, we ask that you will create in us a clean heart today. Remove any past hurt and trauma that may be guiding our thoughts. Let our minds be transformed so that your spirit can continue to grow stronger in us each and every day. Teach us to think and meditate on you over the troubles that we might see before us. We pray that the temporary will not influence us as we keep our thoughts on those things that are eternal. Lord, we know that the thoughts you think towards us are of peace, a future, and of hope. So we will rest on your word over everything else. So today, Lord, direct our Bible reading and Bible study that we can be protected by the sword of the Spirit, which is your word. Create in us a desire to read your word and know it for ourselves. So we will know that you call us blessed and not cursed. Let us live according to the Spirit and set our minds on things of the Spirit. You said in your word that we have the power to destroy arguments and every lofty opinion raised against the knowledge of you and the power to take every thought captive to obey Christ. We decree and declare that your word is true and that we can control our thoughts. Father God, it is our prayer today that your spirit will rule our hearts and our thoughts. Search us, O oh God, and know our hearts. Try us and know our thoughts. We are trusting that the thoughts of lack, unworthiness, fear, and doubt will be defeated in Jesus' name. And Lord, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, everything that is worthy of praise, let us think on those things. It's in the name of Jesus that we pray. Amen. Thank you so much for praying with me here today at Choose Joy with Tisa. It is my goal for this and every prayer that it finds its way to the soul who needs it. Help me reach that goal today by subscribing to the podcast and sharing this prayer with a friend. Until next time, I pray that you choose joy.